Eddie's in Southbrook. Let's go get some cooked dinner. I'm here with Elvis, and he's going to teach us what goes into a traditional Newfoundland cooked dinner. Hi. Elvis, how are you? Good, good, how are you? I'm good. Good. Um, okay, cooked dinner. How is it different from Jake's dinner? Uh, cooked dinner, you usually got a meat. Got a meat? Like the chicken and beef or turkey. Okay. And with gravy. Yeah. But Jake's dinner is just, no. sometimes with pot liquor, Jake's dinner is just with the salt beef, vegetables, yeah. and the puddings. When you say pot liquor, what do you mean? Well, that's the liquor that the vegetables and the salt beef uh, is cooked in. Yes, okay. So this, all right, so do you guys use the salt beef uh, water to boil your vegetables? Absolutely, yeah. Wouldn't that make that too salty, or is it delicious? It's delicious. It's the same saltiness of the vegetables, really. Yeah. Just that the vegetables absorbed whatever salt was in there, right? Wow. Okay, so we got salt beef, of course. Salt beef, all right. So do you soak it? What do you do with the salt beef? No, we just cut it up and cook it for a while. Okay. I don't like soaking it because it kind of takes the color away from it, right? So all right, okay. So we got the bright pink salt beef. Yeah, we got a yeah. boiled potato. Yes. Now, if I put a roasted potato on a traditional cooked dinner yeah. plate, would you be like, mm, that's not a traditional cooked? I would get a chuckle, yeah. You would? Oh, absolutely. Well, okay. Oh, yeah, <laughs> All yeah. right. Sorry. So that's boiled vegetables only, folks. Yeah. Can you eat this whole plate of food in one sitting, Elvis? Or is this like two sittings? Uh, if I, yeah, I could. You I could, could, yeah. <laughs> I could. Can you tell any of our viewers about the recipe of these puddings, or are they? Well, it's like a magician. You can't, you can't reveal too much, right? Okay, all right. Okay. Well, you can't tell us. All right. Here's your meal. Oh my goodness. Now. Oh my and glory to the world. Look at that gravy. Oh my god. And, and, and the good thing about this, eh? We have a process here. We take all the calories out of this stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> How do you do that? You Why is this a closed? secret? I can't yeah. tell you. I can't tell you about that. That's a, that's a secret process. <laughs> Mm. Oh my Only gosh, that really knows, is yeah. the best piece pudding I've ever had. Yeah. But we sort of got our regular customers on Sundays. So we'll just wrap the plate up. Yeah. Take it. And then, and, bring, and then they'll return the plate? Yep. Bring the plate that back next, so sometime nice. during the week, right? Whatever. I yeah, think a lot of people do that. So. That's really sweet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then you don't have to use any takeout containers? No, or? plus we don't have to wash it. Okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yep. Do you get pot liquor on yours? Uh, no, I like gravy. I like gravy too. I like gravy yeah. too. <laughs> now uh, with pot liquor, if we were just, if we never had the meat or the gravy, like, you know, the original jigs dinner as they call it, you know, just the vegetables and a bit of salt meat, uh, that originated was people in, out in boat, you know, so they just had one pot mm. and threw everything in years ago at the fishing industry. Oh, that's really interesting. Yep. Uh, now I, I remember reading that somewhere, whether or not it's true, I, I don't know, but it sort of makes sense. It makes sense to me. It makes yeah. sense. So you just throw your vegetables in and, yeah. and that's all you have is pot liquor. Well, you made the, you polished that off quite good. I didn't think you'd be able to do all that. <sighs> Couldn't help it. That was that was so good. Where should Andy go for food and fun? Send her a message. Food and fun at cbc.ca.